Hey guys, welcome to my new YouTube video about this fantastic ad network Clickadu. We both have heard of Clickadu before and in this video I will explore how to set up your first ad campaign as an advertiser. So, you know, we all see push notification in our smartphones and that is an excellent opportunity as an advertiser because uh, that is one of the highest converting ad formats. So, uh, let's talk about Clickadu website. Let's first start as an advertiser on Clickadu. Now you can fill up your information based on the type of your account. It can be individual or a company. I chose individual and fill up my details, first name, last name, country, city, address and the contact information. So after you do that, you need to explain details of your campaign. So this can be like, uh, what purpose are you using advertising? So um, next you can add a bonus code if you have already. You can use my exclusive promo code, uh, which is popping up in your screen right now. And I will also mention these bonus codes in the description of this video. So you can go check out the description for more bonus right and uh, you can check both consent boxes verify the captcha and click on sign up button once um, i hit the sign up uh, it only asks me to you know activate my account with the activation link that is sent to my inbox so here's the activation link uh, in my inbox and clicking that i land on to the you know screen where i need to set a strong password and you will have to make a strong password and make sure that you remember it. Uh, otherwise, you can use tools like LastPass or Keeper Security to save your passwords. I will give these links in the description of this video. So uh, once done, uh, the dashboard looks like this. Currently, my account status is review. So it takes like a day for moderation. And while you wait for the profile review, let's look at uh, the funding process. You can see uh, your current account balance on the top of your screen like this uh, when you click this or choose you know add funds from the left side one menu you will see this add funds page so you have the option to choose from multiple payment methods over here and these are uh, bank card bank card option number two it would be like the second option in paypal paypal one click web money for you know euro currency transactions and paxum so choose your preferred one and i chose the first one right away and input the amount that you want to add to your balance so for the testing time you can set up according to the scale and type of your campaign and for general uh, campaign testing then you can add like anywhere around 100 to 1000 uh, dollars uh, uh, there's a 3.85 percent fee on this payment method you can choose a different one whichever suits best uh, like this and next click on i agree with the terms and conditions and click on pay thousand dollars so just complete the process and authorize the payment that is very you know normal thing that you would do with any other transaction online once you authorize the payment you will see the balance in your account so I checked my account the next day and here's my account status. It is you know, accepted. So now I am all set to launch my test campaign. So I added $100 and you can see that is also there in my Clickadu advertiser account. And now you can head to the main part of campaign creation. Click on create campaign and it loads the campaign creation wizard. It doesn't take much time. So now here are four major tabs in campaign creation wizard. So there are four major tabs. In the general tab, we will set up general information about the campaign. It's the very fundamental part like the type, vertical, the campaign name, creatives, etc. And then in the second pricing tab, we will set up budget and bidding. The third targeting goes for geos, device and interest targeting. Jones and additional tab is for you know advanced media buyers and for further target your campaign well. So go back to the general tab and here you can name your campaign and this will be uh, helpful when you need to find and filter the campaigns in your future, right? So choose your preferred ad format. I'll choose push notification because we first discussed this uh, in the start that we need to choose push, choose, you know, uh, the feed and then next choose the vertical. So 
there are several verticals to choose from i i chose content because this is like my content marketing project so uh, you can choose based on your campaign type or offer category so most probably you can get it in your network the most important part of the campaign setup is your target url this is your landing page url basically you can either put uh, the url directly or generate one from your tracking systems like bmob red track or volume whichever you use and you can also add url parameters by clicking on these uh, links and then user activity now here clickadu advertising platform has already identified and categorized the audience based on their activity you can include or exclude high medium low or dominantly active audience you can see it here uh, i have excluded audiences with low activity so it will show up to other audiences right so clickadu has integrated standard push ads with in page push ads so uh, you can run in page push ads also just by clicking the first option which says allow in page push traffic if you want to exclusively run in page push only then you can choose the checkbox right after that as well so here comes the most interesting part of your campaign creation and yes that is creative setting so you will probably need an ai copywriter tool or you will need an ad copywriter person who can help you with that there are many ai copywriting tools uh, that you can take help from my personal favorite would be always jasper.ai i have given the link to it in the description so you can buy from my uh, link and ensure your ad copy is within the allowed character limit for the title and description clicking this help icon is more useful before uploading the icon and the creative you can see the supported resolution and file extension also so after you upload you may have to you know zoom out and crop these images here's how i did it so guys at this stage i am able to see a good preview of my push notification ads and default is windows device preview so i can also change these tabs to see preview in different devices like this is mac os preview and uh, here's how ad will look in an android device now i also need to upload a creative banner for this ad and the accepted dimension is 358 by 178 pixels so uh, like i uploaded the icon i need to zoom out with the scroll bar zoom out and make it fit inside the viewport like like the one highlighted and then click on you know crop to select the uploaded image as creative here's my perfect looking ad so <laughs> this is good to go and let's move on to the next step now it takes me to the second tab like pricings and uh, this is a crucial step where you decide and set up how much would you pay for this campaign the bidding strategy is the first element you can choose from cpc smart cpc smart cpa and cpa methods so i will suggest you to make four campaigns with each pricing methods and scale the one that works best for you so cpc is also a good choice for the uh, test campaign so i am choosing cpc for uh, this campaign and next you can choose your target country uh, the cost per click will depend on the country you will target here so you can choose multiple countries or a single one as well so i suggest choosing one country at a time so i am choosing india okay and when i choose the country it automatically suggests me the minimum cpc rate so you can start from uh, the minimum and the concept is that you start with the least and if you do not get clicks or there is very low ctr you increase it slowly right frequency frequency is yet another important aspect of any advertising uh, platform you can set up user based frequency cap or device based frequency cap or ip based frequency capping user based frequency capping is the best right however i will choose no capping for impressions right this makes sure that until the user clicks on my ad the system can send the same ad to the same user multiple times i've chosen the default click capping right so one user can click maximum three times on my ad within 24 hours you can you know customize as you want it to be right advertising budget needs to be defined here i have set it for 10 dollars daily and the total i am willing to spend is like 100 dollars so uh, now you need to choose this wisely 
um, so make sure uh, that the total budget is always less than the amount of your available funds in the advertising dashboard so this basically avoids ads getting paused due to insufficient balance so um, for the creative testing you need to you know, set up a test budget also i will set ten dollars as a test budget and click on next step okay uh, the next step is targeting you have to be clear about the targeting way before you set up your campaign in any ad network so uh, the available targeting options in click i do are operating system type and version device type and device vendors modes mobile isp and you can also target specific mobile networks like browsers and browser language targeting is also available and state and cities targeting you can also you know get down once you configure the targeting you can choose proxy or non proxy targeting as well and in this campaign i have not set up any specific targeting because this is a test campaign once i gather enough data i can determine about the top performing combination or and and further i can you know optimize my campaign so i suggest this only when you have enough money to spend on testing so once you are ready you know click next so guys jones and additional is a very underrated and yet most important factor of making your ads rock the roi so you can include specific zones and set up ip limitations here if you have a list of ips to block you can exclude them here and here comes my favorite part of campaign setup and that is campaign schedule so though you can you know set up the campaign without setting this up but making a wise a uh, choice here can turn the tables for you so when you click show it opens the schedule like this and default setup of the campaign is set to all which means that the ads will show at all days all times there is no specific delivery schedule for your ads so you must thank me if you never used this feature before so you can click on the days to disable showing ads on specific days for example mondays and tuesday are you know the most busy days for professionals so i can opt to not show ads on these days right uh, this is a very basic concept another good idea of uh, like an entertainment campaign is to disable delivery of ads from 5 am to 9 pm in the night from monday to tuesday right the idea behind this is to deliver ads only in the late night hours all times on weekends so uh, guys let me know in the comments down below if you like this idea right and for an aggressively adult niche or dating campaign you must show ads only in the night time right if you are setting up a campaign for a later date you can set the start date and end date from here uh, delivery method is also an important thing to understand right if you want to use your budget wisely you should be using distributed method however if you have a lot of budget and want to you know Uh, spend the budget uh, as soon as possible then choose a standard standard will consume daily budget fast and you know may leave rest of the day with no ad delivery so distributed method will make sure that the ads are distributed equally for the whole day additional options where you can choose to get traffic from anti ad block zones and other resources you can choose these as tick and once ready you can click on start campaign right now so but 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 it doesn't happen because i missed this important declaration just check this box and click on start campaign Ooh, so we have set up the first campaign successfully so now you can see that my campaign status is moderation for now the moderation process will take a, a, a moment and uh, i got this mail when my campaign got approved so guys i checked this after many many days and here's my campaign performance you can see i got like 14442 clicks for just 14 and half dollars and comment down and let me know if this is a great number or not you can now see conversions of your campaigns and analyze it further to you know optimize your campaign for the best results right so uh, do not forget to use my promo code while signing up on clickadu to get good bonus uh, on your top ups and it is popping on the screen and link is also in the description of this video so Uh, let me quickly summarize the pros and cons of clickadu uh, advertising platform for push notification and in page push ads first the sign up process was smooth the approval was also quick campaign setup is also you know well guided everything is 
clear crystal clear and i feel that improvements can be done inside the process uh, while well, audience segmentation and retargeting option is missing in the dashboard account funding process was also pretty easy overall clickado is a great traffic source for mainstream traffic and you will definitely need good copywriting skills to you know improve ctr of your ads and make more money from media buying so guys this was it from my side about clickado's advertiser platform for push notification advertising so if you learned something new from this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in next video till then bye bye keep rocking